For the first time, legendary Pokemon are going to be legal in competitive Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Starting on April 1st, Regulation C will add the four Treasures of Ruin Pokemon to competitive play. These four Pokemon are the only difference that Regulation C will have from Series 2, which introduced the Paradox Pokemon. Only adding four Pokemon might seem like a pretty small change when powerful Pokemon like Fluttermane and Iron Hands are already in the format, but Wo Chen, Ting Lu, Chin Pao, and Chi Yu are all extremely powerful Pokemon. And they all play very differently, so I'm here to learn you good on what those Pokemon are going to do in the format. Today, I'm going to teach you about Shin Pao. Shin Pao was an Ice and Dark type. Pretty great offensive typing, but really bad defensive. This dynamic, great offense, terrible defense, is going to be a theme throughout this video. Shin Pao's signature ability is Sword of Ruin. It lowers the defense of all Pokemon on the field by 25%, except other Pokemon that also have this ability. So Chin Pao won't lower its own defense or other Chin Pao's defense. Chin Pao has a pretty wide move pool. Ice Spinner for Ice Stab, Throat Chopper Crunch for Dark Stab, priority options like Ice Shard and Sucker Punch. Its coverage move pool is pretty small, but it has Sacred Sword for coverage against Steel types and to hit the other Dark types like the other Treasures of Ruin, and to let it hit Don Dozo through its commander boosts. Now, I know with Chin Pao's attack stat and ability, everything about it screams hit, punch, smack, but it has a lot of support moves worth looking at too. Shin Pao is tied for the second fastest Icy Wind user in the format, only being outsped by Iron Bundle, giving it great options for speed control. It also has Taunt to disrupt Trick Room Satyrs or Amoongus, Haze for Dondozo, and Ruination to soften up Pokemon Shin Pao isn't normally good at hitting. Before we keep going, let's make a sample set for our Shin Pao. Let's start with Ice Spinner, Throat Chop, Sacred Sword, and Protect. We'll make him Jolly with max EVs and attack and speed. And we'll throw the last four EVs in HP. We'll give Chin Pao a Focus Sash to hold so it can stick around on the field a little longer, and make it Terra Ghost to avoid Fake Out and Forex effective fighting moves. This build is just a very basic start. Every move we just discussed is viable on Chin Pao. Let me know what set you want to use in the comments. We've spent a lot of time talking about what makes Chin Pao strong in a vacuum, but this is VGC, and a Pokemon is only as strong as the way it synergizes with its partner. Shin Pao loves priority moves. So far, the most common partners for it are Dragonite and Palafin, two Pokemon with extremely powerful priority moves that can take advantage of Swords of Ruin. Right now, the most common way to play Dragonite with Shin Pao is Choice Band, Terra Normal, Extreme Speed Span. You're just stacking multipliers on multipliers to try to create the most powerful priority move you can. With all these multipliers, Dragonite will knock out basically any Pokemon that doesn't resist the hit, and thanks to Dragonite's ability and her focus, it's very hard to interact with. Chin Pao and Palafin are particularly synergistic because Chin Pao could hit Amoongus super hard with its ice moves, clearing the way for Palafin's powerful water type attacks. This core of three Pokemon can be extremely oppressive, but of course, there is counterplay. Shin Pao teams don't generally focus on speed control options. Instead, they rely pretty heavily on their priority moves and natural speed. So if you can disrupt that and take advantage of how frail Chin Pao is, you're probably in a good spot. Psychic Terrain, Redirection, and damage mitigation like Screens, Intimidate, or Wo Chen can all really mess with Chin Pao offense. The hyper-offensive style that Chin Pao likes to go for operates on really slim margins and has very little room for error. So, if you can trip them up and survive a hit they assumed would knock you out, that opportunity may be all you need to take the advantage. Even if it isn't flawless, Chin Pao is likely the strongest of the four treasures of Ruin, and I suspect it will be the first one to take home a regional trophy. I'd put money on it winning Fort Wayne. This is a little different than my usual content, so make sure to let me know if you like these breakdowns by liking, subscribing, and leaving a comment. Until next time, bye.